Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alyssa Marie, just in case you're new. So today, I'm really excited to welcome you guys to the official beginning of my Black Owned series on YouTube. Yay! I'm really excited. So when you go to the homepage of my YouTube page, you can click on playlist and that's where you will find the whole Black Owned playlist. And basically with these series, I'm just gonna be dedicating these videos to solely Black Owned brands. So I'm going to be doing all kinds of tutorials, reviews, product demos, all of the things for black owned brands as I get to know more of them. With the series, I'm basically trying to encourage you guys to shop black. I mean, we all know that black owned businesses have it harder. That's just how it is. We are always at a disadvantage. So I wanted to do my part by creating this series so that whenever you guys are going shopping and you're thinking, ooh, I would actually love to buy black, you can just refer to this series and have a look and see what things that I have used what has worked for me before, and then you can try it out yourself. So for today's video, I'm super excited. We're gonna be doing a full wash and go with just black owned products. I'm actually gonna be mentioning six different black owned brands in this video, so it's gonna be a really good one. Some products I've been using since the beginning of my natural hair journey and some products I will be using for the first time here on camera today. So we're gonna get into all the details, we're gonna get into all the fun stuff. But as usual, before we get started, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, okay? Okay, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also make sure you hit the notification bell if you don't wanna miss any of this new new. All right, let's get started. Y'all are gonna have to get used to seeing me in my little Sephora squad robe, okay? Especially if you follow me on Instagram as well, you're probably sick of seeing me in this, but get used to it this is an everyday thing now okay all right let's get this party started so right now i actually have a pre-poo treatment in my hair it is going to remain unnamed in this video because we are dedicating this entire video to black owned only um but if you are an og follower or subscriber you will know exactly what treatment i'm talking about i talk about it all the time oh one second one second one second why does my hair look so long today this is definitely one of those wash days where I'm like, hello, length. So first I'm gonna start by washing my hair out, getting it fully wet, and then to cleanse, I'm gonna be using the Monos Hair Curl, Co-Wash, and Conditioner. So I've used this before, but I would be lying if I told you I remembered how I felt about it. I'm constantly trying new products all the time, so I literally can't remember how I felt about it. I do remember feeling about the Mo Nose Hair brand in general. I really loved it. Again, black and female owned, power to the people. I feel like I kind of trust her products. I did notice a couple of them, like the stylers had silicones in them, so those I didn't really use as much. But this co-wash does not have silicones in it. And this is actually a co-wash and conditioner so it's like a hybrid kind of a product you can use it as a co-wash you can use it as just a regular conditioner after you've cleansed with something else so you can use this in like a variety of different ways but again today I'm just gonna be using it as a co-wash so let's go ahead and wet this hair Woo! all right we're soaking wet let's get this co-wash going so here's how it looks it is super creamy and delicious it just feels super moisturizing So this is super fragrant. It almost kind of reminds me of like a cologne. It's like hair cologne almost. The smell is really, really strong. So I would say if you are someone who's like fragrance sensitive, I don't know if you won't like this one. It's pretty strong. But as it is combing through my curls, we got some juicy curls coming on here. Yes, this feels really good deeply moisturizing. It kind of looks like it's sudsing like a shampoo. I think it's just the consistency of the product and how it works once you're combing it through with like super wet hair. It just feels a little foamy. It's not like a lather, it's just the consistency gets a little foamy. I mean, the juicy is there though. I'm not mad at this so far. Gotta make sure we don't neglect the scalp. I would say in terms of slip, it's got a decent amount of slip, but not the most amount of slip. Like. If level 10 is like super slip, I would say this is like about a seven. 6.5, seven. Yeah, you can really see that foamy action happening, but you can also see my curls are clumping, which is good. That's like a really good sign. All right, so, so far this co-wash is pretty good to me actually. This foaming kind of consistency is actually very, very interesting. And I'm very interested actually to see if my hair still feels nice and moisturized and juicy once it's all washed out. I mean, look at this foam, it's a lot. All right, let's go ahead and wash this out. All right, so my hair actually feels 
really, really good, really moisturized, but really, really, really clean. My scalp also feels very nice. So yeah, I think this co-wash gets a pass for me. I wouldn't call it holy grail or something like extra special just yet. I have to continue using it more often and then I will be able to actually say if it's like amazing or if it's just like, meh, it's okay, it's a cool co-wash, you know what I mean? So far, I'm at level uh, it's okay, it's a cool co-wash. Like, I don't have any problems with it. All right, so let's move right along to a moisture treatment. I'm actually really excited for this one. This is the Brio Geo Be Gentle, Be Kind, Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. So excited. So I have used the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair hair mask, and that was the bomb.com. So I have really high hopes for this mask as well. So as you guys can tell, this is actually my first time using this. I got this in my little Sephora Squad box. So excited, because I've actually been eyeing this on Sephora. So the fact that it came in full size in the Sephora Squad box, I was like, yes, winning. Ooh, this smells so good. It smells so good. It smells like kiwi. Oh, it is such a nice, sweet, fruity smell, but it is not overpowering at all. It's just like a nice smell. I love it. And look, you can see it's a green color, the mask itself. So that's really fun. Also, you can see that it's a pretty thick mask. Like this bad boy is not moving anywhere. So I'm really, I'm really expecting to get some good moisture out of this. Let's go ahead and apply. My hair dries so fast, I actually need to re-wet this again. Wow, all I feel is mega juicy curls, seriously. This is like ultimate first impression. Wow, like as I'm combing it through each strand, it is getting real juicy up in here. I love it. So Brio Geo is actually one of my favorite black owned clean brands. They make sure to use only healthy ingredients, non-toxic ingredients, and I love that. So you know what? One thing I'm really loving about this mask is that it does not feel super heavy in consistency. It's not super buttery, like it's not weighing down my curls, but at the same time, it is super, super juicy and I can feel the moisturization happening. And always put an extra goop on your ends. Yeah, so that is your oldest pieces of hair, okay? They need the extra love. give this mask maybe a seven just like the co-wash it's like not super buttery but it still gets the job done once you are combing it through your curls that's when you feel the slip kick in if you were just applying it to your hair like this it's not really gonna penetrate anything and go anywhere so when you're actually combing through your curls is when you start to feel that slip and that juiciness so like you guys can see here that it's not really oily not really buttery it's just super creamy and my hair actually tends to prefer products like that. If you guys have seen my hair porosity video, I kind of explained a little bit more in depth in that video. So if you guys are interested in hearing more on all of that stuff, I'll link it up here and in the description box below as well. But yeah, so far so good. And it also smells really good. But again, the smell is not strong at all. Very, very subtle. One of those kind of smells that I can tell is kind of just gonna wash out. So I do wanna give this mask some time to really soak into my hair strands and really give it a chance to work. So what I'm gonna do is put my hair up and then I'm just gonna put on my little clear shower cap. And then I'm gonna use my hot head. So this is another black owned brand and if you do not have a hot head and you have natural hair, you need to buy this ASAP. It is. So inexpensive, it is the most affordable way to take your deep conditioning treatments to another level at home. And it's so easy, you don't have to sit under a dryer, you literally just stick this in the microwave, heat it up, it's got beads in here that keep it nice and warm, and then you put it on and that's it. And by adding heat to your treatments, it's really encouraging the hair shaft to open up more and it's just gonna absorb that product even more. You'll just get so much more out of your treatments. So yeah, this is a black owned necessity, okay? So cute. They also come in different colors and sizes. I think they also have a cute little size for kids as well. So if you have a daughter or a son who has like super curly hair, you can get them one as well so that they can make sure that their curls are nice and moisturized and healthy as well. 
well. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this in for 10 minutes and then I will be right back so we can get into some black owned styling. All right, I'm back and ready to wash this out. I'm actually really excited to style, but I'm also excited to wash this out and see how my curls feel. Right now, I am just feeling the juiciness. It just feels so good and juicy and delicious and I hope I still have that feeling once the product is kind of washed out. All right, so let me just go wash this out real quick. All right, so I'm back and I'm very impressed actually. My curls feel good and as you can see, they're nice and defined. So super defined curls are always a sign of healthy and happy curls. And like I am really, really happy with how my curls are looking right now. I feel super happy and nice and moisturized. You can tell that they're not really weighed down as well. Some moisture masks are just so intense and heavy that they just leave your curls feeling a little bit weighed down. But you can see we still got a little bit of poof action happening here with curl definition and without frizz. That's another very, very, important thing to take note of. If you have washed something out of your hair and it leaves your hair super frizzy, that is a huge sign that your hair doesn't like it. So, so far my curls seem super happy. So safe to say that I love this. So far it is so bomb and I definitely would recommend it. Oh, and before we jump straight into styling, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Pattern Beauty, another black owned brand by Tracy Ellis Ross. This is her microfiber towel. Guys, hold on, hold on. Do you see how large this thing is? It is huge and it's got this straight edge and then the bottom of it is nice and rounded. It's just, I love it. It's such a unique microfiber towel and the hugeness of it makes it great because my hair is quite huge and so I just have it over my shoulders so I'm not getting like soaking wet as we're styling my hair because y'all know I need my hair to be nice and soaking wet. So if you're in need of a microfiber towel, I would 1010% recommend the Pattern Beauty microfiber towel. Mm-hmm, it's lit. And if you're watching me and you still use cotton towels on your hair, do better. All right, so now on to styling. I'm gonna use three different products. So first for my leave-in, I'm gonna be using the Curls Blueberry Bliss Leave-In Conditioner. So y'all have heard me talk about and seen me use this leave-in since the very beginning of my journey. This is such a bomb product. I just love this leave-in conditioner. It is glycerin-free and it is super curl defining. It's not like a curl defining cream or anything, but for some reason it already is like the first step for me in clumping my curls and I just really, really love it. Also, I love the blueberry smell. So then for my whole products, I'm actually gonna be using two different gels today. So first, I will be going in with the Brio Geo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Quinoa Frizz Control Gel. And then on top of that, so I can make sure to get a little bit of extra hold and some more shine, I will be going in with the Camille Rose Curl Maker. I have really been into mixing my gels lately. I just find that it gives my hair like a really good kind of balance, a little bit of extra hold. And I don't know, it's just really, really been working for my curls. I've never actually mixed these particular two gels together, so I'm kind of interested to see how they actually work together, but I am expecting it to come out really, really good. So they're actually two different types of gels. So the Curl Maker Gel, you guys have seen me talk about it all the time. It's a very sticky, jelly kind of gel. The Brio Geo is kind of opposite. It's not as sticky and it's just like a clear kind of gel. So it still offers curl definition, but not as much hold, in my opinion, as the Curl Maker. So by using them together, I'm getting curl definition, I'm getting hold and some shine. Like I'm really, really expecting this to be a bomb combo. Fingers crossed. So I'm just starting by sectioning out my hair and I'm making sure to re-wet each section right before I actually apply my styling products. You already know, I love to make sure that my hair is like dripping wet. So I'm going in with the leave-in conditioner first. I like to comb my leave-in conditioner through with my fingers. And then on top of that, going in with the Brio Geo gel. I like to use the prayer hands method when I'm applying my gels because that really helps to make sure that all of the gel is being evenly distributed throughout all of my curls. And then on top of that, I am going in with the curl maker, but it's kind of like just like a little finisher on top. So I'm not using as much product as I did with the previous gel. You hear that? That means your hair is the right amount of wet to style your wash and go. Boom. All right, so all the products have been applied. 
I mean, so far so good. I'm not seeing any frizz and I am seeing intense curl definition, but again, this is what I was expecting, especially from mixing those two gels together. So now it's just time to diffuse real quick. So I like to start by diffusing with my head kind of flipped over. Then after a while, because I'm deciding to do a little side part today, before it actually like fully dries or anything, I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair and then diffuse the rest of the way with a part in my hair so the part will stay. All right, so right here, I'm at a point where I usually just stop diffusing and let it air dry the rest of the way. I kind of like to just diffuse until it stops dripping and then just let it air dry the rest of the way, like I said. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do and I'm about to do something right now that's gonna make it seem like my hair dried in two seconds. And here we go, ta-da, and we're dry. I mean, don't we wish that our hair could just dry that quickly? I know. I am really happy to announce that this wash day was a success. I am living. So right now I'm fluffing. I'm not seeing any flakes, which means that those two gels work really well together. I've actually generally found that when you use a jelly gel with a not so jelly gel, they just seem to work really well because they're two different types of gels, you know what I mean? So instead of actually using like a jelly gel on top of a jelly gel, which might end up getting a little bit messy, a little bit heavy, Using two different types of gels, I don't know, it just like fits like a puzzle. If you guys are interested in hearing a little bit more about the two different types of gels, I did do an entire video on that, so it's linked up here and in the description box below. So yeah, loving the gels. I will also say that this is one of those wash and goes that did dry with a little bit of a crunch on top. I kind of expected that, especially from the curl maker, but that is kind of how it works. So usually once my hair is fully dry, I will just go in, and kind of just crunch out and fluff out that little cast that we've got going on there. And then we're good to go. One of the reasons why I kind of do like the crunch though is that is like an indicator that this wash day in this level of curl definition is gonna last me a whole nother week. Like it's gonna be good to go. I won't have to worry about frizz. So when I do get a crunchy wash and go, I'm not mad at it as long as I can kind of fluff it out and still get a little bit of volume and I feel like we actually have a good mix. I'm also not mad with this level of volume we've got today, like day one volume, hello? Y'all look, okay, no. This is the real, the real, real test, okay? If you're curly and you're watching this, I'm sure you can relate. I have a dry patch right here in the middle of my hair. That is the hardest place for me to get moisture and the hardest place for me to get any type of curl definition. It is always like the most fluffy, frizzy part of my hair. I kind of like that it's in the back so I really don't have to see it. All of y'all who walk behind me and stuff, y'all are the ones who have to see it. But so this is like the real kind of test of these products. And I'm gonna show you right now. Dry patch where? And I know I definitely have to thank the treatment for this. And we got curl definition up in there too. Like I am, I'm so happy with this wash day. Also, while my hair is drying, I actually realized that every single product that I mentioned in here, in this video, were not only black owned, but also female owned. Yes. I love to see it. But it is clear that we know what we are doing. We are the ones with the curly hair, we live with it. So it's products for curly girls made by girls with curly hair. It only makes sense and boom, it's a success. So yeah guys, this entire wash day, 10 out of 10 recommend. I feel like this has potential to be a holy grail wash and go combo, honestly. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, if you didn't subscribe in the beginning, you got one more chance to do so now, and then you can check out some more videos. I'll catch you on the next one, bye.